Hello Cancers, so this is the bonus readings that I'm doing for you guys. Today I'm doing bonus reading for each sign, okay? So this is a different spread that I usually do on YouTube, okay? So I'm going to break down what each part, each section of the spread means, okay? So this is going to be pertaining to what do you live in the past pertaining to your love life, what you don't know about your love life, okay? what's in the near future of your love life what's in the future of your love life what's really going on in your love life and what's the outcome and this is just going to be the general energy okay so with the hangman and the knight of pentacles okay i feel like with the past i feel like you laugh what you left in the past is being confused okay what you left in the past is waiting for someone what you left in the past is basically i feel like it's more like either someone was confusing you okay and you left them in the past or you was waiting for somebody and you left that energy in the past you left that person in the past okay um with the nine pentacles being there in a hey man i feel like there was a very slow and stagnant energy okay um now when it comes to a different situation regardless of love okay um it could just represent you it can represent you like not using your time efficiently okay and now it's like you know how to use your time efficiently not wasting time okay because with the hangman nine pentacles being there it's like you left something that was going too slow for you okay and the signs that this person could be could be a earth sign okay a towards very capricorn but what's interesting is that what's coming towards you is going to be an earth sign, okay? So it could be a, the same person or it could just be a new earth sign. And also a Pisces, okay? Now, what you don't know about your love life is the Five of Swords. So I do see someone is playing games, okay? Because the Five of Swords is like someone who's playing games, okay? This is someone who's not mature. And with this card, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hangman... Probably that's their game. Their game was trying to keep you stuck, okay, with the hangman. Their game was trying to make you wait, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And with the five of swords, even though they were trying to play you, okay, it's like you, you're you carrying this energy too can play that game, okay, with the five of swords being here. Now, when I clarify the five of swords, I got the fool, the hierophant, the seven of pentacles, and the world. So I feel like a lot of you guys are starting new, okay? Even though you don't see it right now because this is what you don't know, I feel like there's going to be a major breakthrough that's going to come through, come to you guys, okay? It's probably going to be a new relationship, okay? Because I got the hierophant and the fool. And it's going to take some time, but you guys are going into a new cycle in your life. Now, we do have a solar eclipse that's going to happen in Cancer Sun sign, and the moon is going to be in Cancer as well. It's going to be July 2nd. So, if you have anything in Cancer, this is a perfect time to manifest, okay, because it's going to help. Now, eclipse is kind of like clearing the energy, okay? And eclipse is like right away you're going to feel it. Sometimes you can, but not right away. And the effects of eclipse, you're not going to feel it right away. Sometimes it takes time. So it usually takes six months, a year, okay? Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely going to go through this purging moment, going to go through like clearing of karma, <laughs> okay? Clearing of karma. And what you don't see is that you guys are entering something new, Especially when it comes to relationship, you guys are about to enter a new relationship, okay? You're probably not going to see the person like that or see the connection like that, but it's coming, <laughs> okay? Now, what's in the near future of your love life? I got the tower, okay? Now, people are all the time worried and scared about the tower but the tower is actually not a bad card what it's doing is basically just clearing karma i feel like a lot of you guys your karma is gonna be clear that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that because the tower is like you have to let go of the old foundation this could just be ego you have to kill your ego to transform you have to kill a part of you that was not serving you to become the best version of yourself okay and that's what i'm seeing the tower represents scorpio energy and anytime a major planet or even go retrograde and Scorpio energy is a very transformative energy. It hits you to your soul, okay? <laughs> and we have nothing in Scorpio, what's going on. But I feel like what the card is trying to say is just this energy doesn't come through, okay? 
but this is the near future it's definitely going to help you for the better okay with the tower now when i clarify for the tower i got the nine of cups like i mentioned this is going to be something that is going to be a wish fulfillment okay this is going to be probably unexpected love okay this is something that you don't see coming okay and with the tower again this represents unexpected unexpected being unexpected okay <laughs> Now, when it comes by the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I have the Magician and Chariot. So, again, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely moving forward. If you guys are single, you guys are about to be in a relationship, okay? Um, you guys are definitely ushering something new into your life and it's manifesting, okay? Now, when I clarify the king of pentacles i mean actually let me go over here so what's in the future of your love life okay it's the king of cups okay so i got your energy okay now i feel like in the future you are going to be really open um open to receive and give love okay and when i clarify that i got the well uh, i got the 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 three of wands okay I feel like, yeah, you are going to be really open, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune for this change. At first, you may be a little bit hesitant, but you're going to enjoy the ride, basically. You're going to enjoy this change, okay? I feel like, again, this is going to relate to your love life, but I feel like this is also even within your own self. I feel like there's going to be a major transformation within your own self, okay? And that makes sense because we do have the solar eclipse, Okay? And the solar, again, represent thyself, your ego, okay? And I got the tower. It's like breaking down the ego, but it's like for your highest good, okay? Because it's ushering a new change into your life. It's ushering a new direction, a positive new direction into your life, okay? Now, this is what's really going on in your love life. I got the king of pentacles, okay? So, again, a lot of you guys have been focusing on money, Okay? Um, it's showing that money is going to be very abundant with the King of Pentacles. I feel like you are going to be know how to manage your money and how to make money, okay? And I have the Ace of Pentacles, another money card, okay? Now, when it comes to love, what's really going on, I feel like either if you're not in a relationship or if you are in a relationship, I feel like you are definitely building something that's real, something that's going to be solid, something that is built on a solid foundation, okay? Again, because that old foundation had to let go of, okay? And I got the lovers, okay? So yeah, you guys are definitely going to enter a new relationship that's going to be more solid for you, that is going to be the much better match for you, okay? And I got the Nine of Cups, and I got, got the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups does represent the past, but I feel like for this reading, is with your soulmate, because this does represent soulmate, okay? And that's what I'm saying. So I feel like there is going to be unexpected love that's going to come through for you guys, right? And... You're probably not going to be the most open, okay? But later, you are going to be really receptive to this person. And you're going to feel like this is your soulmate. This is the person that you've been waiting for a long time, okay? Because probably in the past connections, you know, people was trying to play games with you, okay? But you got something that's real with all these pentacles, okay? With all the ace of pentacles, all that, okay? Now, what's the outcome? I got the two of wands, okay? So... I definitely see a future within this new connection, okay? And when I clarify that, I got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Page of Cups. What, what I'm seeing is that you got to focus on the new person, okay? If your past is a toxic situation, if your past was not serving you, you got to be focused onto this new connection, okay? Because I do see a past person trying to hold on to you, Okay? Let that situation go, okay? Let that situation go because it's not serving your highest good. Now, another way this can go, the devil can also represent your um, your dark side. The devil can represent your, your shadow self. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys have been transforming, but you got to be careful of not reverting to your shadow side, okay? Making sure all of that to remain it is gone, okay? That's what I'm saying. Now... Let me just do a recap. So why I see that you left in the past, either waiting for someone or a stuck energy, you just left that stuff in the past. Now, what you don't know about your love life is that there is love that's going to come through, okay? You're about to be in a new relationship, okay? 
And with the tower card being there, this is going to be very unexpected for you, but it's going to be a wish fulfillment for you later. You're going to see that. And with the King of Cups, I see that you are going to be receptive to this love. And then what's really going on, this is going to be someone who is your soulmate. What's the outcome? You got to be careful of a distraction. Okay, either a person is distracting you or basically your shadow self. Okay, now, yeah, pretty much I'm seeing. So this is a really positive reading. This spread, again, could be, um, it don't need to necessarily be this, it happened this month, but it can happen a couple months after as well, okay? Now, for the oracles, I got friendship, okay? And if you look at this, I got 19, okay? So if you break down 19 and equal to 1, you guys are about to enter a new beginning. You guys have probably already entered a new beginning. Some of you guys might be born on the 19 as well. But with friendship, okay? When I read this affirmation, it say this. Hold on, the glare is too bright. Okay, I deeply, I am deeply grateful for the gifts of friends and my appreciation for them is endless, okay? Again, I feel like when you're going through this spiritual transformation, okay, your friends will be around you and they are going to support you. Now, for the next Oracle spread, I got 40. So some of you guys might be born on the 4th, okay? And this just break down to four. So again, stability. Like I mentioned, you got a lot of pentacles around you, okay? So that means something solid is going to come through, okay? Your life is going to be more stable. It's going to leave your life more grounded. And I got the power of support, okay? Now, the affirmation for this one it is, I'm grateful for all the love and support I receive. It is the most precious, um, precious of life gifts, okay? So again, I feel like a lot of you guys have supportive people around you, okay? And the next card that I got for you guys is 48. So this break down to 12, okay? And 12 break down to 3, okay? Which represents divine feminine. But let's go back to 12. 12, um, usually every 12 years, something major happens, okay? Um, so again, I feel like something major, major, something major is going to happen in your life, okay? Again, with the solar eclipse, that makes sense as well. And with three, this is divine feminine energy. Again, I feel like a lot of you guys are balancing your divine feminine energy. Even if you're a guy, you're still balancing your divine feminine energy. We have both energy. You have divine masculine and divine feminine. Our feminine side is our emotions. It's how we care. It's how we nurture others, okay? And it's how we love ourselves as well. Our masculine side is how we think. It's our actions, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are caring to your divine feminine. And if you look at this, it's kind of look like Mother Mary. And this have a lot of blue in it. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely speaking your truth. <laughs> and that's funny because the card is saying follow my truth. Again, I feel like a lot of you guys are speaking your truth and listening to your truth and following your truth. And when I read this affirmation, it's called believing in and following in my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empower, empowered life. So probably the life that you was living before wasn't your truth you probably thought that was your truth but you realize that's not your truth anymore and because of you breaking free from that okay killing your ego you are embracing your true self okay so i'm saying this is gonna be a very spiritual transformative month for you guys okay um but again this energy can extend for a long time it could extend until like six months from now okay but yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Cancers. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.